In this video, I'll talk about some of the best textbooks on data structures and algorithms. So if you're a student or a hobbyist programmer, you need to read these books to strengthen your concepts further. Whether you like Python, C++, Java, or any other programming language, here are the best textbooks to learn data structures and algorithms. First, we have Introduction to Algorithms. Thomas C. Corman is the author of this book, and it's one of the most popular books to learn algorithms. However, there is a method of reading this book, otherwise you can hardly understand it. The author aims to provide in-depth knowledge on algorithm design theory, so it's slightly tricky and somewhat dull. However, it's an ideal option if you want to have strong theoretical concepts about the subject. In my opinion, it's the best to read this book as a reference or use it for short reading sessions. I suggest you start an online course on data structure and algorithms and refer to this book time by time to understand the theory behind a specific concept. Next book is Python Algorithms, Mastering Basic Algorithms in the Python Language. Python will be a prominent language in the future because it's implemented virtually everywhere in AI and machine learning. Magnus Lee Hetland, the author of this book, and he focuses on heavily designing algorithms in Python. Especially if you know Python well, this book can be an excellent read to implement different algorithms. Moreover, it becomes easier to implement the same concepts in Java and C++. You will also find comprehensive theory on graph algorithms, so you can apply Python programs to solve real-world problems. The next book we have is Algorithms for Interviews. If you're in your final years of studies and preparing for job interviews, I recommend reading Algorithms for Interviews. The author wrote this book to help readers prepare for interview questions about algorithm design. Programming interviews can be tricky, and recruiters often ask you to write different code. So when the author takes a different approach by explaining how to develop efficient algorithms in quick time, this book gives you a different approach to learning algorithms, which helps learn new concepts. The next book we have is Data Structures and Algorithms. This book is a masterpiece for learning data structures and algorithms. Aho, Ullman, and Hopcraft are the three authors who combine their efforts to produce an introductory platform for new learners. This book is an excellent option if you're new to DSA because it features excellent theoretical knowledge and mathematical understanding of algorithms. So if you like the math and its applications, you'll particularly enjoy this book. The next book is simply just called Algorithms. Algorithms by Robert Sedgwick and Kevin Wayne is another comprehensive read for learning algorithm development. This book comes with language-specific versions for C++ and Java, so it's a handy option to use it along with the online programming course. Currently, there are a couple Coursera courses based on this book, so you can essentially apply the book concepts and get a certification for yourself as well. In my opinion, it's particularly great for Java programmers. Once you finish the book, you should have learned the fundamentals of algorithm and the theoretical background behind specific algorithms. The next book we have is Hello World, Being Human in an Age of Algorithms. Hannah Fry is the author of this book, and she takes a different approach towards learning algorithm design. This book is highly recommended if you want to understand the moral complications that come with designing certain algorithms. It doesn't focus heavily on theoretical algorithm concepts, instead the author discusses good and bad sides of certain algorithms and how they affect our lives. This is an ideal book if you want to understand the ethics of coding world and what the techniques are suitable for professional industry. The next book we have is the Algorithm Design Manual. As the name suggests, this book is more about the practical implementation of computer algorithms. You'll find tons of algorithms with coding examples, and the author also shows functional scenarios where he applied those algorithms. Steve Skeen is the author of this book, and he made it a comprehensive reading material. The coding examples use the C language, so it's relatively easy to understand. Once you go through this book, you should be able to deploy suitable algorithms based on the classes of the problems in the algorithm family and learn the dynamics of graph algorithms. The next book we have is Data Structures and Algorithms Made Easy, Data Structures and Algorithmic Puzzles. The book presents several issues on how different solutions may be implemented for each of those problems. You'll get to read a lot of C and C++ in this book, and it's conducive for exam preparations and interview guides. So it's quite popular reading among computer science students. Next we have Data Structures and Algorithms in Java. Robert LaFour is one of the most renowned authors in computer science so that you can expect his name is on one of the best textbooks in DSA. This book highlights the basics of DSA and Java, and the author focuses on providing easy to understand examples. He breaks complex examples into smaller and more manageable parts, so it helps readers get a firm grasp on the topic. You'll get a lot of sample programs, and there will be some executable programs that you can run on the web browser. Another great thing about this book is the visual representation of data structures. The author explains the working of these structures through intriguing graphics, so it becomes simpler to understand how these data structures operate. If you love learning from books, watch my video on the must-read books for software engineers. See you in there.